Okay, guys, this is going to be the first part of many videos on explaining how to find your computer parts. Sorry it took me so long, but uh, it's had a lot of stuff going on and just didn't have enough time to get these out. I'm going to try to get these out within the next couple of weeks, or put it this way, before I get to school back on August 16th. So I'll get all this out by then. Um start on uh, I wanted to show if, uh, whatever I put the title as it's gonna be like uh, sites to like find deals and where to buy your parts and stuff like that I ha I use a thing called I Google unfortunately to get rid of it next year in November and I'm sad about that so I need to find something else that will replace that if you guys know anything tell me that would be really cool because I use iGoogle so much as you can see all like RSS feeds and everything else but to get what I was talking about um, first we have a site called slickdeals.net here I'll just go here real quick the page of load right wow okay we got here slick deals like I have this and it shows me like some of the few of the top deals on this right here and I just look at it periodically and see some stuff that's cool. Um but if you go to the site you'll see a lot more. You'll see the top deals that people are in and you see fire deals that are super popular. If it's like that it's more than likely gonna be sold out real soon. And the thing it what deals is if you see a really good deal once you look long enough you know what's a really good deal. Like if it's on the front page, it's probably a really good deal if you don't know. See like 32 gig flash drive, um, eleven dollars. That's a really good deal. I don't really need a flash drive. You also have to resist buying stuff you don't really need. Um, but uh, on the front page you'll see deals, and you have to learn what's good and what's not. Then you also go to popular deals and trending deals. Also, you can go to search like what you want. Like you can search power PSU for power supply. And for instance. We'll come up to like, oh, there's a 700 watt power supply. That's actually a decent one too. Uh, step up from what I have in my computer for only $45 after rebate. That's a pretty good deal. It's not the greatest, but I mean, it's it's not bad either. Or you have bare bones kits, or you have a uh, higher quality power supply that with even an eight an eight gig flash drive included. That's $58. And you just look through all this and. The more, obviously, the more thumbs up it is, the more uh, higher rating the uh, the product, uh, the better the deal the product is. You can go to mixed. You can do front page deals for power supply. So uh, if I can find the power supply, the typically goes on sale. Sale like this is the one I put in my computer, the the my parents' computer to show how to to build it. It's this Corsa builder, and that's the price I got it for. Um, that. Not the date when I got it, but sometime. Um, I'm trying to find. I don't show it, which sucks. But it doesn't. Also, yeah, in the search PSU is not going to show every power supply that's ever went on sale. So try different terms. And if you want, you can like set um, notifications. So if you like, for instance, they go get really specific. You want a G19 keyboard, a Logitech G19 keyboard. I think that's the one with the screen built in, which is kind of overkill for a keyboard. But if you want that specific thing, and it happens to go on sale, I've never seen it go on sale, and it happens to have any kind of deal on this site, it will automatically notify you when somebody posts something about it on from anywhere that you can. It will have a good price. So learn to use Slick Deals. It's the site I use, and I've found many, many, many deals. Not just computer parts, like their plane tickets and other stuff. I haven't used that before, but there are deals I wish I could have gotten. Like, for instance, buy one movie ticket, get one free, stuff like that. And there's a lot of cool stuff here. Okay, get out of there. Sites to use to find your computer parts. Newegg is my go-to choice for computer parts, but it's definitely not the only choice to look at. And it's because I and there are no stores around where I live that are close enough next to Best Buy and Best Buy unfortunately is terribly overpriced on their computer hardware and I would unless they have something on sale like ridiculously priced and you better still cross check it with like New Egg and other sites, then I would never buy from Best Buy. Because one time I went in there, this graphics card was I saw recently on Newegg it was twenty dollars after rebate. 
I go in the Best Buy, it's over 100 And that's before tax, too, so you're paying, like, another $7 in tax, so... It's... It's... Oh, Best Buy usually has horrible prices when it comes to that stuff. I would rather wait three days than pay, like, $70 less for something than go in the Best Buy. But anyways, like, it also depends on your state. I think, I know New York gets taxed for Tennessee, California, I think New Jersey. Um, some other um, places, maybe too. But it depends on your state. The reason That's the reason I don't use the next choice. You go over to Tiger Direct, if I even have a direct link. I guess I got rid of it. Just go to my bookmark. TigerDirect.com is also CompUSA. If you have a CompUSA store near you, that's pretty much what Tiger Direct is. I think they acquired Tiger Direct or something came out of CompUSA a long time ago. But the thing I use Tiger Direct for, I've bought a few things from them. Um, they've had good deals. Not as many as New Egg, but they still have some. The What they have best deals are if you. Uh, are too lazy to find all your parts, you want to spend just a little bit more, maybe it's, sometimes it's even cheaper. You can go to bare bones kits, which I'll explain later. You can get stuff like these bare bones kits that go on sale all the time if you sign up for the mailing list. Like right there is a pretty decent one. It doesn't include a hard drive, so if you already have a hard drive, you have a pretty good price. Six core bare bones kit, and it's only $200 after the rebates, of course, which is a pain, but... Uh, that's typically how you get the best deals through rebates. And the reason I don't use Tiger Direct a lot is because I do have to pay tax. Uh, because there are multiple CompUSA stores in my state. But unfortunately, I think like the closest one to me is like at least two, three hours away, I'd say. Um, but that's why I don't use that on Tiger Direct. Another sites include like Fry's Electronics. I don't have one of those. I wish I did. My friend's been in one. Said it's like a huge store. Or Fry's Electronics. Um, I'm trying to think of. I, I can't think of the another site. It's a um. It's another store. Say. <laughs> I almost got it. I, maybe I can search real okay, see computer. A retail store. Micro Center. Perfect. Um, yeah, see Comp USA is pretty much Tiger Direct. Like I said, Best Buy's a rip off pretty much. So mm, um, for desktop parts at least. And usually anything else as well. Laptops are always overpriced too and that's and Best Buy it seems. Even though my first laptop is from Best Buy. Because the only reason I got it there is because they're eighteen uh at the time, 24 months, no interest, so I was able to pay it over 24 months. And that's the only way I was able to afford it at the time. But, um, so yeah, Micro Center. If you have one of these, it seems to be, like, most of the processor deals come from Micro Center. And I, unfortunately, North Carolina, don't have anything close to me on their 23 locations across the country, I guess. And that sucks because their process sometimes processors are a hundred dollars cheaper at Micro Center than they would be at Newegg or something. It's going and usually like deals like you usually see a lot of deals at Fry's Electronics and Micro Center, but they usually um and, and B and M, which stands for brick and mortar, if you see that on the slick deal site, which means you have to go into the store and it's to be able to get the deal, otherwise you can't order anything offline. And that's usually the case for a lot of the really good deals on Micro Center and Fry's Electronics, which sucks because I have not, I don't have one close to me. But um, that's, I think, typically most of the websites I use, there are obviously, like, you shouldn't be limited to that. Those are the large websites. There's also smaller websites, for instance, um, like Frozen, um, CPU, or like, um, you can use that. There's like a lot of like custom cooling stuff that like Newegg and other sites don't have, like water cooling and different fans. You can find custom parts and a whole bunch of cool stuff in sites like this. I think Zonic. No, that's um, that's where I got my laptop. It's um, I forgot what's the custom coal calf. 
code light and of course. PC lighting. I don't know if I Zox Zoxide, yeah. And then stuff like that they have like stuff like this you can put it in your computer. But uh search around like forums and stuff. I will that'll be in my next video, like forums to use that I've used. And so use these sites to find your parts, look around, have fun finding parts. Like I've spent hours on New Egg just like making just to see if I can get on to my wish list here and I guess I don't have like my I had a wish list a long time ago that it is like build the most expensive com com computer setup I could possibly do I think it was over 20,000 and we did overnight ship it and I think it added $2,000 to overnight ship it it's it's kind of funny, um, like I try to, com to build a desktop for my friend, you know, like motherboard, RAM, hard drive, and he had like different parts he would have, and like I was like, oh, you could buy the um, processor, yeah, off eBay. eBay is a good place to look because like processor, the chance of a processor not working is so slim to none. Even if it says it's dead, like if they if they say it's like pulled from a computer and they say it's dead because they don't know if it's working. Probably 90% chance that it's working. Doesn't mean it is, but it's more than likely will. And it's like if you can get it for ten dollars versus fifty, then it's probably worth the ten dollar risk. Like that processor more than likely work. So then you don't have to pay fifty dollars for a processor. So definitely look on eBay and sites like that as well. And if you have any questions, uh, comment below. And thanks for watching. Also, I forgot to mention um, NCIX. And for you Canadian people, it's probably one of the better options. I think Newegg does Canada as well, too. But NCIX, for sure, is probably the better option, I feel, since I think they're ba they're based out of Canada. So they, they would be a better option. They have pretty good deals. I don't know, like, Canadian prices, like, relative to U.S. I don't can't do the conversion in my head. But I know they have a U.S. site now as well. NCIX.com would be the U.S. and .ca is Canada. And so they have also good deals. I was going to order a graphics card, but then they ran out of their deal that they had around Christmas time. And luckily enough, UA came on sale with a similar graphics card. Um, not quite as good, but also it was cheaper. So it ended up working out in the long run. But also remember, NCIX is another good place. And any other place you might find parts. So remember, if you have any questions, thanks for watching.